from LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big morning with another big week upon us, perhaps the most important week of the summer. Why? Because that CPI read for the month of July is released on August 10th. We'll be going over what is going on with that number. But if you missed the broadcast over the weekend, it was that massive surprise that came in on Friday. And that Friday changed the whole economy and the whole approach to analysis with data. We'll explain why a recession versus no recession, inflation versus no inflation, heated up over the weekend and what you needed to go into this week as well. Plus, remember your benefits going up a lot if that inflationary read is really big on August 10th. We'll go over what it means for the raise of your benefits, about $5,000. The great news is that there's a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. Those force stimulus checks in every U.S. state are for members. They've been getting it ever since. Go on to this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. Welcome to the nearly couple hundred members that joined in the last few days. We're going to go over these big checks. And do you qualify? You do. Single individuals, 75000 or less. Married couple, if you're married, if you have children, without children. And of course, if you're on benefits, SSI or, or SSDI. We're going to go over all those incredible checks in the big second half. Stay with me. We go over all these incredible checks. There will be no other checks except these in the landscape of this economy right today. But the phases of the economy are getting more important today because a new report, we're going to analyze that later in this according signals, that there could be not only a recession, but a lot more serious recession than we thought going into last weekend. That, my friends, is why you have to get a force to much check in every U.S. state. It's a jam-packed recording for our mornings. Uh, I hope you had a double shot of coffee for I know you didn't have bacon because you're not going to tell me you had bacon and I didn't have bacon because that would be just not fair. It would be very unfair for you to say you had bacon, I did not have bacon. So just tell me how to do that. I just shot a coffee. <laughs> In this recording, we got a lot of breaking news to go over. We have a lot of stimulus to go over. We have a lot to go over with data and analysis. And you've been so on point in recent days. I'm separating data from analysis, and I read some analysis minutes ago that was manifesting itself as data. It's not. It's sort of like wearing lobster shorts. I think it's fashion. <laughs> it's a big morning, and the deliciousness starts right now. The toast is toasting. The butter is buttering. It's a beautiful August 8th, live on air from the shores of Santa Monica, California, and it's morning. Good morning, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful day. It is gorgeous. Well, I should take that back. It's a little bit too hot here along the coast, but it's a big week because that August 10th is going to be a hot day as well. That CPI read has come in. We'll have the latest details on that earning recession as well. 75% of, of S&P companies beat on their earnings, but did they beat on really great earnings or beat on bad earnings? That's the difference. We're going to go over today, the lift of your benefits. Wow, time to do a pair dance. Uh, don't don't uh, pull a hip. <laughs> it's early in the morning. I hope you did your yoga stretches first because your benefits are going up a lot. They're going up astronomically. And when you see the comments from a Fed governor who a lot of people like, she's under Jay Powell, she said inflation is going to be here to stay into 2023 possibly. That means we don't have to wait or worry about that July, August, September data. We may have enough insurances right now that we believe inflation is going to be here for a while. And that is the big lift of your benefits. Plus, inflation is not peaked. Well, guess what's also not peaked? Your stimulus. And in the big second half, we're going to go over those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You qualify and you want to get them. About $100,000. There is no other stimulus. There will be no other four stimulus this summer. This is the stimulus because guess what I've always done since day one? I've gotten you money on the come. On the come is at least my expression. I don't know. Do you say on the come in other parts of the country? Jump a live chat. Do you say on the come in other parts of the country? An expression I grew up always saying, which says, if there's something there, get it on the come. So let's say they have um, a discount on uh, on food uh, for today. Get it on the come because the discount may be gone. 
in these stimulus checks were available in March. We've been getting them on the come ever since. There's going to be no other stimulus. So this is it. For purposes of naming, I'm keeping this as four stimulus. I'm not changing the name because I coined the expression four stimulus. I'm saying with four stimulus. And remember, when second stimulus never really happened, I got your money then as well. I'll continue to find you more money and continue on for that big money. And it all comes up in the big second half. Now, I know I was gone for... Uh, Friday and Saturday because of my hospitalization. I'm feeling better. Thank you for your kind messages over the weekend. I really appreciate that. You can send bacon, but you know, <laughs> other than, uh, you can send me some digital bacon, but other than that, I appreciate all <laughs> being facetious. I appreciate all your wonderful kind comments. And on Friday, on Friday, it was like there was a, a 5.0 earthquake that hit Santa, Santa Monica or Los Angeles or the United States. Why? Because a data came out and we didn't think this data was going to be much of anything going into the data point. What was it? It was the monthly non-farm payrolls number and the monthly unemployment rate. It's released once a month and shows how many jobs are created in the private sector, like travel and leisure, like hospitality, like retail. And then in there is always released also the unemployment percentage, how many people are unemployed. Now, let's be very frank. I told you the number was coming out on Friday, but you and I really didn't think it was going to be much of a surprise number. We just thought it was going to be, you know, sort of bland, sort of a bland number. The day before, we had the not the jobless claims number, the number of people un claiming unemployment from the week before. And that number has not done well. It's gone straight up. It was 140 in the month of April. Now it's 260. I projected it was going to be 260. This Thursday was 260. So the narrative as a Thursday morning was... Labor's not doing well in this economy. Too many people are claiming unemployment. It's the worst number since of 2022. And that looked like the narrative we had at the time, that labor is just really not doing well. Labor is also referred to as unemployment or, or, or employment across the board. And that number just really went through the roof on Thursday. That is what we thought we were dealing uh, into a uh, past Thursday. 260,000 jobless claims, just a really bad number. Labor's not doing really well. And then, my friends, came that Friday number. Okay, this is how we separate data from analysis. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Welcome to all the new members. Make sure you become a member on the video. Data is core numbers. We put data first on this channel because you need to know data because it's your money, your economy, your lifestyle, your household, your family, your children. You need to know what the data and the data that came in on Friday was the number of jobs created for non-farm payroll and also the employment rate. And we thought it was going to be a bland number. It was a shocker. In fact, it's probably, as I recorded all last, on all last Sunday, the most shocking number we've had on this channel since May of 2022, when that CPI went through the roof. What happened that jobs number? You, you now sense it's, it's a big one. Hold the coffee really tight because I don't want you to spill this one. <laughs> the non-farm payroll jobs were expected to be 258,000 for the month of July, which would have been down for the month, since the month of June. It was not 258. It was not 259. It was 528,000. What? <laughs> they must have been hiring a lot of San Francisco hairstyles. <laughs> I just don't know what's going on. 528,000 new jobs. That was an absolute blowout number. But it's really not that number that caused the earthquake, the financial earthquake. It was another number in there, which was the unemployment rate released once a month, and that was hideously low. It came in at the lowest unemployment rate, meaning the least amount of people unemployed in the U.S. economy since 1969. 1969? You mean it's better than COVID? It's better than pre-COVID? It's better than pre-pre-pre-COVID? Yes, it's better than, you know, most of us alive. 1969, we've never seen so few people unemployed in this U.S. economy. Okay, so you immediately know the impact of that number because you're educated, you're smart, you've been watching this channel. Number one, you've known since this channel launched that the president and the Federal Reserve, and generally myself, use this number as the most indicative number of the strength of the economy and especially the strength of labor. And if there's this few people unemployed as of comparing that to 1969 levels, then this is a major surprise no one knew existed. Number two, you know the impact of this number somewhere else. 
The Federal Reserve has a dual mandate. The Federal Reserve guides monetary policy and interest rates. They have a dual mandate. The first one is maximum employment, and the second one is getting inflation down. In getting inflation down, they don't want to destroy employment. They don't want to destroy the labor market. Well, guess what? They've been hitting in infl inflation with those interest rate spikes really hard. And now with the labor number so strong, yes, you can finish the sentence they can hit that inflation much harder. So here you go. The takeaway, this is what everyone understands, everyone understands this, is that the Federal Reserve was right. The Federal Reserve was right. They can hit that inflation really hard by raising those interest rates once a month because the labor can sustain it and the labor really sustained it. So you know what this also means. <laughs> it also means get ready for a lot more hits on that inflation with those interest rate spikes for the Federal Reserve. That is why you can't miss a video. I disappeared from you Thursday afternoon because that's when I became hospitalized. But on Thursday morning, I recorded for you that I, and I recorded all the week as well, that I believe that the Federal Reserve, which does not return until September, would do another 75 basis point increase on those interest rates in September like they had done in the month of July. And I look like the foolish guy wearing the lobster shorts. <laughs> I look like the outcast in the party because when Wall Street analysts were polled on Thursday before this data was released, no less than 30% of them agreed with me. Well, it feels good to be loved. <laughs> it feels to be good and loved and an outcast and being facetious. I was an outcast. I was an outcast once again. I've had a real track record of being an outcast of the show. I said inflation and 8% and, and it sustained last year. They said, who's this crazy kid in Los Angeles? Fix his hair. He's something wrong with him. <laughs> Then earlier this year, I said that um, a recession is coming. I said in February, and everyone said, he's been told not to say that R word on camera. <laughs> I said the R word, and people were like, where did you come from, Mars? <laughs> I said, like, just watch. Just watch. Of course, I said 260,000 jobless claims. Right? And here we go. I told you the Federal Reserve is going to do a 75 basis point increase in the month of September. They're off in August. One viewer said, what do they do in the month of August? Why are they off? I don't know. They're at Nancy's Lobster Fest. I don't know what they're doing in the month of August. I'm not on their, uh, I'm not on their, their invitation list of the Hamptons. I don't like the Hamptons. You like the Hamptons? I don't like the Hamptons. Uh, so I don't know what they're off in the month of August. So they come back in the month of September. And I said 75 basis point. Well, let me tell you what happened. Thursday. I said 75 basis points in, in September, and I said a lot more spikes after that. I was only 30% of Wall Street analysts, uh, 30 of Wall Street analysts agreed with me, 75% 70 disagreed with me vehemently. They said, one more interest rate spike, a 50 basis point, and that's it. There's no more. What is this crazy kid in Los Angeles saying? Well, guess what the poll is today? 100% agree with me. <laughs> 100% agree with me that there's going to be a 75 basis point in September. Now, they're not initially in agreement on the multiple spikes thereafter, but let me make it even easier for you. The Fed Governor, uh, Bauman, spoke on Saturday, and she said, we have a lot of interest rate spikes to do. <laughs> now, is this a hard thing for me to predict for you? No, I'm not going to take credit for this. Why am I not going to take care for it? Because listen to the Fed Governors. They tell you what they're going to do before they do it. It's sort of like um, when Mitch warns you that he's walking in wear a pair of certain shorts you don't like to wear. You run for cover. <laughs> you run for cover. It's sort of like Bob Bacon when he says, are you wearing that Cardinal's hat again? Can you stop wearing the Cardinal's hat again? <laughs> I'm like, Bob, I'll give you a warning every time I put the Cardinal's hat on. He did not tell me what type of hat he wants me to wear. I guess it's Dodgers. But he says, can you stop wearing the Cardinal's hat? Bob, I will warn you before I post another picture with the Cardinal's hat. So we had the Fed governors, Daly and Boulard, you know, Boulard from St. Louis and Daly from San Francisco, that gave us guidance last week that said, who are these crazy people saying we're done with interest rate spikes? They didn't say crazy, but that's basically what they implied. And who told them that inflation had peaked? Inflation had not peaked and we're not done with interest rate spikes. So it's not easy, not difficult for me to say to you, we got a lot more interest rate spikes coming across the board, which causes all this realm of confusion. With the announcement that inflation, excuse me, that unemployment is now at the lowest levels of 1969, you would think that everyone would understand what this means. No. So we have now two camps, and this is very critical to understand, very critical to understand. We have two camps of analysts. This is analysis, not data. One camp says, oh, this means there's going to be no recession. It never happened. It never even existed. It was sort of like that missing season of Bobby that, uh, that um, 
that uh, Pam dreamed in the shower. <laughs> you remember the missing season of Dallas? Yeah, she dreamed the entire season. It was a fake season. Uh, strangest storyline ever. So it, it is though they dreamed a fake recession. Then the other camp says, no, it's not only going to be a recession. It's going to be the most serious recession you ever thought you're going to have. Oh, boy. Don't scare me like that, LA. It's early in the morning. <laughs> well, it's, you know, it's 9 o'clock here on the West Coast, 9.30. Here is Camp 1. Liz Ann Saunders, Chief Investment Strategist at Charles Schwab, the equity trading platform. There's no way to take the other side of it. There's not a lot. But yeah, other way, the positive than otherwise, that is positive for the Fed and, and the Fed's perspective for the economy. This is really good news. Well, not to see Camp 2, because they're going to say the exact opposite to this equity trader, and they are bond traders. We'll go over them in a second. Diane was in the live chat. I love the question. I love the detail. Someone said, what section of the economy added the jobs? That's what I want you to hear. I want you to be digging deep in the data with me. I want you to ask those tough questions. The big jobs were travel and leisure and hospitality. All last week, we had the corporate earnings that came in. And those corporate earnings beat were, of course, travel and leisure and hospitality. So exactly the companies that did really well added jobs. We already know that Tesla laying off, Microsoft uh, Alphabet, Coinbase, Netflix. We all know that tech is laying off and travel and leisure is adding dramatically. So that was a great question. So here is what's at issue. Now, 100% of Wall Street believe there's going to be a 75 basis point increase in the Federal Reserve in September. So I think that's an easy, uh, an easy read at this point. I don't have to go over too much about that. But let me jump right into this definition of recession. And let me go over with that Fed rate hike. The Fed rate hike is really the bigger point I want to make on mornings. I'll go over the recession in a second. The Federal Reserve believes, as I believe, that inflation has not peaked. This is absolutely the best news to wake up this morning for you. Because guess what? Your benefits are going up more than we initially thought, you know, maybe a week ago. And now, as viewers like Ling Glenn, I think it was Diane or maybe um, Shirley asked me, LA Light, do we have to wait for three months of that CPI read coming in, starting on August 10th this week, and then September, and then October, to know how much our inflation, our benefits are going to go up? You may not, because the data coming in later in this recording shows you that inflation has not peaked, and it has a lot of way to go up. Let me go over the issue at hand. The issue at hand is the Federal Reserve will be raising that interest rate spike in the month of September because they at least believe inflation has not peaked. And we're going to have a governor in the second half who says inflation is still around and we have a big problem with it. All right, here's Camp 2. Camp 2 disagrees with Camp 1. Camp 1 is generally equity trades, stock trades. Camp 2, I got to tell you, I'm not being trying to be favoritists. I'm trying to show you which one's usually right. The equity trade is often wrong, very often is a, is a polite way of saying it. They're generally a lot of times wrong. The bond traders are almost never wrong. Bond traders are almost never wrong, and the oil traders are usually mirroring the bond traders. What do the bond traders say? They say that because the unemployment is so low, the Federal Reserve is going to have a hard, strong interest rate spike in September and continue over and over and over again, which actually the Federal Reserve basically says they're going to do, and that is going to send you into recession, a very deep, darker recession than we even thought we are going to have last week. Yeah, that is the differences of the two camps. And which camp do I agree to? Camp 2. If you're on the live chat, write which camp you agree with, Camp 1 or Camp 2. I know last night, I think Ann was in the live chat, she said Camp 2, and I think someone else said Camp 2. I can't remember who it was, maybe it was Gunnar. Um, here's what the bond market says. The last time the yield curve inverted like this, we go back to 2000, there's an overall different situation, says Ian Ligon. We are got inverted as negative 90, uh, 56 at that time. I'll explain to you what he's saying in just a second. But here's the big part of the quote I want you to read. He again is a bond trader. My biggest takeaway from the depth of the inversion curve is that the market is confident in the Federal Reserve and there is a much bigger risk that the headwind of the economy will end up tipping into a more significant recession. So there you go. Who agrees with the bond trader? I do. Who also agrees with the bond trader? The oil traders. The oil traders have now traded down the price of gasoline from 110 about a week ago to 94. It was 98 yesterday on the show. 
and then it went to 94 last night. I mean, that's enormous drops. Why? Because they say you're in recession. You're not going to be spending money on gasoline like you have before. And that's why they're trading it down. Let's go back to data and why it's important to understand data. Over the last two weeks, we were featuring the earnings recession on this channel. Companies that miss those corporate earnings. But here is where data is important. Those corporations gave guidance downward. Guidance downward on this economy about where we're going. And that guidance downward is what they beat on. And so the issue is that inflation has still not peaked. And with that inflation not peaked, your benefits are going up a lot. How much? About $5,000. A celebration across the board is in hand. Your benefits are going up a lot because inflation has not peaked. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits. This is huge, and we're going to go over the calculation starting right now. Because inflation has not peaked, we need to generally see three months of data, July, August, and September. Of that CPI-W, the first one comes this week, August 10th. That's the CPI for the month of July. And if it's tracking where we started in the month of June, then your benefits are going up an enormous amount. How does this work? Well, basically, inflation went out of control in the month of June. When the prior month was 5.8% in the month of June, it tracked to a whopping 6.1%. I want to make something very clear to you. Minutes ago, there was a report out that said where inflation will be in this read coming this week. I want to make clear to you if you read that article. The article is what consumers think or predict for the number on August 10th. That's not data, folks. That, again, is analysis. I had to read it very carefully. I'm like, wait a second. The report hasn't been released yet. How do we know what the number is? It's analysis. Ultimately, we go with the definition of your benefits. Your benefits are going up a lot. So your benefits are tied to something called COLA, C-O-L-A. And it's determined by the number coming out on August 10th, September 10th, and October 10th. And how does this work? Your benefits go up automatically across the board, Direct deposit, although I was in the meal, about $5,000 more per year. Someone asked if that was per month. No, it's not per month. It's per year. And it's absolutely incredible. It's SS300, SS400, everything you wanted. Everyone 5000 no. Some of you more. Some of you less. Everyone the same percentage, absolutely across the board. And this, my friends, is why you have to get a force sumless check in every U.S. state. We're going to go over these incredible force champions checks in every U.S. state in the big second half, a series of checks done by executive action. Here's a preview of the checks right now. These are done by executive action of Joseph Biden in the month of March. About $100,000 you qualify for. And the success stories are just absolutely incredible. We're going to go over them in just a second. A series of different checks, you qualify. Go get them. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you're on rent, if you're on benefits... Uh, if you if you own, if you are children without children, go get it across the board. You qualify. In the big second half, we go over all these incredible checks left and right. One of the benefits of being a member is, of course, not only the membership newsletter, but what's in the membership newsletter. Yeah, the price of gasoline, which we now saw last night, went to 94. And, of course, you have this. The L8 worksheets. The L8 worksheets are down around the third or fourth line of the newsletter. It's a PDF. You can print it out from your cell phone or your computer or download and take notes on it. What do we know about each of the pages of this PDF? Page one, starting right now. Inflation. August 10th, here we go. CPI released this week. It's going to be a big one. It will show us whether inflation has gone up, stayed about the same, or cooled down. There's no indication yet that it has gone down. The last number of inflation we had was two Fridays ago. The personal consumption expenditure, which went straight up the highest number since the 1980s. Recession. The big second half of this recording, we're going to go over the recession. Debate. Camp 1 versus 2 in just a second. Labor. Conflicting data, obviously. Thursday's labor data showed the highest new unemployment claims of 2022. Highest since middle 2021. And then on Friday, we had the non-farm payroll and the lowest unemployment numbers since 1969. I'll explain why this is happening in the second half. It's very, very important. It comes in with recession. And Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is off in the month of August, and then they come back in September, 75 basis point. We'll have one Fed governor giving you a major update and a huge quote. This is why I go with the data. You got to go with the data. Read their quotes. I mean, we don't have to analyze this. Just read their quotes. If you miss their quote, then you miss what they're going to do. You don't miss a recording on this channel. The second page of this of the worksheets is a place for you to keep track on your stimulus. It's an incredible table. And this table has been a big game changer for viewers. 
uh, last week, I believe it was on Tuesday, one viewer got approved for 12 months of utility checks. That's incredible. Keep on getting more of them. Another viewer the day after got approved for 14 months of rent. God bless you. That's a lot of money. Most people's rent is over $1,000. That's, that's at least $14,000. God bless you for becoming a member and doing this. Get more money as well. And then we had Spelly last week, actually the week before, who got approved for check A and also some check C's. His messaging is very important. Stay with it. Sometimes the applications say you, you dotted your T and crossed your I when you should have crossed your T and dotted your I. He said, stay with it. He also got check C. And then we had that wonderful viewer from Florida. She got a letter, an email from the state of Florida. It said, ma'am, you've been approved for check B. She forgot that she had applied for this because she had not looked at her worksheets. Gotta look at your worksheets. And she, great news, that check B was for her mortgage. Better news, it was 18 months of her mortgage. My goodness, 18 months of her mortgage, that's not $10,000, that's tens of thousands of dollars. It gets better than that. She got approved for all her utilities. So about four utilities plus mortgage per month, that's eight, that's five checks per month. Five checks per month times 18 months, you can do the math. That's 80 to 100 checks because she's a member of this family, the Purple Power community. This is where the differences are happening. Rent, own, children, not with children, work, don't work, on benefits, don't on, not on benefits. Go get these big sums of money. You deserve it. You really do. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time so you understand how it works. We'll preview what's happening tonight on afternoons and evenings tonight as well. From the shores of San Marcos, California, it's a beautiful day and it's beautiful because you're here. And I'll go over the latest details on this recessionary debate. It's very important for you to know it is not particularly complicated, but when I slow it down, you'll understand it. It's coming up in the big second half. Go on to this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Get that incredible newsletter delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And in the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. The toast is toasting. The butter is butter. The coffee is missing. <laughs> no, the coffee is missing. The coffee is not missing. The bacon is missing. Uh, I'll be back with you in 60 seconds and more details about these incredible checks as Morning Satellite continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And this big video continues later this week as then August 10th re comes out for that CPI huge because remember what it means it tells you how much your benefits are going up we'll have the latest details on that number plus we'll be looking at the labor number on Thursday I'd like to see the new jobless claims number is horrible and after all these analysts think that labor is so strong I think it's gonna be horrible across the board and we'll have the latest details more about your four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. You become a member during the commercial break? Hope you did. And I love the comment during the commercial break from Diane who said, uh, uh, analysis is opinion. Absolutely well said. Analysis is opinion. We can all have different opinions. But don't confuse analysis with data. And in this big second half, we're going to go over the latest details on the data. <laughs> Those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Back in the month of March, the viewers of the show said, hey, like, can you find us a four stimulus check? And I found them. A series of different checks, and I had two focuses at the time. 
because I care about you. One, I was only an American broadcaster saying we're going to have a recession. So I knew you had to have big amounts of money. And we found about $100,000 across a series of different checks. Number two, broad eligibility. My viewers qualify. You rent, you own. You have children, even don't have children. You're on benefits, you're not on benefits. You qualify for one or lots of these different checks. And let's go over all these incredible checks starting right now. And I give it a lettering system. Those checks start with the letter A. They feature the membership newsletter delivered to you. You just go down, you apply. It's very, very simple across the board. And as new checks come out, they are added to the newsletter. As more breaking details are added, they're added to the newsletter as well. The first check is a $6,500 to $12,000 for a stimulus check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, or if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get it across the board. Uh, excuse me, exclude the rent. If you own, if you're on benefits, you're not on benefits, go get it across the board. How do you get this huge check? Step one, you go down and become a member. Join this channel, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Cow, Sino, VIP. Then go down to that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. When you see check A in the newsletter, click the link. It sends you right into the nationwide website. Choose your state, choose that weatherizing grant, and go get it. Very, very straightforward across the board. You're not done there yet. You're going to go with check B, fifteen dollars to $80,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. This is the check that got a viewer 80 checks. Check A is the one that got spelled some checks. And get that incredible check. How do you get it? You know the routine. Step one, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe. You're watching LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, expanding to number two. And I have a big surprise for you coming up in just two minutes in this video about what LA has for you next. I'm very, very excited. Um, go into this video, become a member. Join the channel, subscribe, and then go down to check B. There it is. Click the link. Go right and apply. Choose your state. Go right and apply. And you're ready to rock and roll. Look how well you've done so far. That's 80,000. This is 12,000. That's 100,000. You're not done there yet. You're going to go get some check seeds. This is what those other viewers were getting last week. They got the 12 months for utilities, the 14 months for rent. You can do this. You've done it for years on this channel. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage and assistance. How do you do it? Step one, become a member. Step two, get that newsletter. Go down to where it says check C and go get these big sums of money. Viewers have a check C in the newsletter tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. The success stories for Chexy have been on this channel for a very long time because this was around before second stimulus. And second stimulus, of course, didn't happen. This was before third stimulus, and then it became third stimulus. And it's been around ever since. It's the residue of third stimulus. Let's look at the numbers for rent. Nisi all the way up to Elizabeth. If you want $30,000 for rent, go get some Check C. You deserve it. Go get some rent from Check C. You deserve it. Do you have, uh, ut excuse me, um, this is utilities. Utilities for Check C. Your water, your electric bill, your heating oil, your telephone bill. You probably have three to five utility bills. Go get them all paid. Get them all paid for as many months as you can. Then, uh, snap, Mark's by the is getting uh, $250,000 over 10 years. Let's look at some combinations. For example, get the rent and the utilities, or get the mortgage and the utilities. Get a lot, or get five different utilities. Get a lot of different combinations. Nisi was at 23000 She went to 50000 I'll explain to you why in a second. Mar, here is, um, uh, here is Lorraine, who is at one oh five, and then she went to an incredible $150,000. And the stories uh, continue across the board with a Mark who was at an incredible five, uh, 32000 on the prior graphic, and he went all the way up to a monstrous uh, 166000 Just incredible. Here are the three normalities, the three reoccurring subjects among these, these viewers. One, they're in all the live chats. I see the people in the live chat right now. I love you to death because you're in all the live chats all the, all the time. This is a... <laughs> I almost scripts. This is a crazy economy. This is a crazy economy. By historical standpoints, what this economy is doing right now, a lot of the elements we've never seen before, some of the elements we have, a lot of the events are happening, have never happened for analysts who are under the age of, let's say, 50. So they're out there analyzing, giving their opinion, and the data has never manifested itself this way in the last 50 years. So they think they know what they're doing based upon their livelihood, but if they don't know and go back and research what happened before they're alive, then they don't know what's going on. It's a confusing economy. 
Number two, these viewers keep on getting checks. The reason why Nisi went from 20,000 to 50,000, John Mark from uh, 32 to 166, is they keep on getting checks. If you're in the live chat right now, post your success story. I don't care if it's $20, I don't care if it's $20,000, post your success story. If you have an application penny for something, post it right now. Post your activity because the more activity you do and the more activity you post, you inspire other people. When other people see, I'm applying for check A today. I got my application in for check B. Um, uh, you apply for check B in Florida. What's the routing time? Has anyone heard back from the check B? You get the talking, the focusing going because it's it's like a it's like a, a support group. We're all doing, we're all going through the motions together. And you, if you feel the reaction, more so than even just hearing the success stories, you see the uh, the activity in progress. So post what you're doing in the live chat. We did this on the channel about a month ago when I did LA 101 and LA 202. We can bring it back if you wish. But I want you to do it just posting your activity of what you're doing in the live chat. Uh, let's go over what you need to do. First, go into this video, subscribe. You're watching LA Light, the number three most watched financial news channel in America. And you want to be along the ride for what's about to happen. I'll tell you in just a second. Number two, go into this video, join this channel. You're watching LA Light 1. Become a member and get that incredible membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Number three, make sure you go to the front of the channel. There's a bell. Hit that bell so all notifications are set to all on. And then you'll get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Let's just go over broadly, quickly. We'll have more about this later today. The newsletter is delivered 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So know your time zone. If you're 10 on the East Coast, it's 10. And it's sent via the YouTube alert. What is a YouTube alert? This is a YouTube alert. See the title? from YouTube written by me. Here's the title for members only newsletter today. The four uh, the four mailboxes, see the time, it's delivered at seven o'clock. You go down past the guy with the surfboard, go down past him until it says click view post, click the button, it sends you right into the incredible newsletter and you go get those incredible checks. You're done and ready to rock and roll. And with that, what is coming to Ally? Oh boy, I, I don't wanna get emotional, but it's been a long time in the making. It's been a long time in the making. You're watching LA Light, but I also sometimes now refer to it as LA One. Yes, there are two new channels coming to this channel that are about to launch any minute. They've been in the back end, they've been in development, they've been in build out, Studio 3A being built out for, for channel two and three. The set will be the same, but the channel's content will be totally different, but much of what you've always loved. On LA Two, you will have Stimulus 24-7, a live stream just about your stimulus. Then you'll have on taped shows, you know, shows that air at a specific precise time, your humor shows you adore. Sirloin is back, Javi Late is back, Blade 66 is back. I'll tell you more about their shows in the next few days. Over on LA3 is the economy, recession, inflation, your money. People have asked for crypto come back. I'll bring crypto back. If you want me to add more about the economy on the on, on LA3, I will add it. And then you've asked for a lot of cooking programs. They're on LA3. Some of them were taped over two weeks ago because I've been waiting to deliver this excitement to you. Cooking shows about the favorite things that you like to eat. And if you have suggestions for LA3, send me a private message on Facebook at LA News. All right, let's go into this recession. Now, this is very important to understand across the board. The comments from Bauman I want to read first. She is a Fed governor. And she spoke Saturday. So this is very recent. This is after the data that came in on Friday. And she said basically the following. The largest threat to the, strong, to the stronger labor market is excessive inflation, which allowed to continue could further lead to further economic softening. It means a weak uh, economy. And, re and prolonged, which means a long period, of economic weakness, that means a bad economy, with high inflation like we experienced in the 1970s. Oh boy, that sounds awful. It is awful. In any case, we must fulfill our commitment to lowering inflation and remain steadily fast focused on this task. There's a significant risk of high inflation into next year. Risk of inflation into next year. Uh, and she says, my view is that we need similar sized interest rate spikes over the next few meetings, and we need to keep on doing it until we have inflation under control. So that's a lot in one quote. First, she's saying, 75 basis point was in July. Well, we, we got to stay with that. Why would we do something less? Who are the crazy people, the equity traders on Wall Street, equity analysts, saying we knew something less than what we've done? 
we haven't gone on inflation and control. Why would you think we do that? I mean, it, it sounds ridiculous when they say it, and it sounds and her reaction to it is exactly my reaction. Inflation's not come down, so why would you think the Federal Reserve is going to do less? They're not. Number two, until inflation comes down, the Federal Reserve is going to keep on doing what they're doing. She didn't rule out going higher to 100 basis point, but she certainly said, I was saying 75 basis point, hitting this very hard. This is big for your benefits. You know why. Because inflation has not peaked. In July, August, and September, you're in a great state. You're in a great state. And remember, Federal Reserve does not meet in August. So they have a rate hike in September. You're looking really good, folks. I'm so excited for you. You've wanted this so long, this rise of your benefits across the board. Now, the next part of this equation is the recession. Bond traders, who always are right, the oil traders are usually right, and the Federal Reserve saying, we can't have this inflation continuing on. We're going to have a bad problem with this economy. All that basically adds up to the same camp two repeated over and over again, which is a bad recession is coming, a far worse recession than we even thought last week. Even in the live chat, write camp one or camp two. Which one do you think? Camp one is no recession. That never even occurred. And camp two is that it's going to be a recession. It's going to be very severe. And that, my friends, is why I'm here for you. I was the first to tell you, we're going to have sustained inflation. No one else was. I was the first to tell you that a recession's coming. No one else was. I was the first to tell you that there's a, two camps out there, and the camps are clearly divided by what they do, stock traders and bond traders. And now you can decide which one it is. Are you going to go with camp one and be cautious with your money? Or are you going to be risky with your money and think, oh, good times are here to stay? I've never been risky. I've always been cautious, and I hope you are as well. Coming up next is Noontime, and this channel, this video will automatically take you into that Noontime show. And then LA Live will launch again in about another half an hour, if you're not watching it already. Go into this video, become a member. Thank you for all your incredible messages over the weekend of kindness across the board. I'm feeling better. Um, still have some more work up to do on everything, um, but I appreciate all your kindness across the board. Keep that kindness for fellow people in the live chat. Express the kindness to one another. Express interest in other people's uh, livelihood and what they're doing and how they feel and all that so that we continue our love as a community. Join this channel, become a member, and I'll see you next if you're watching the show live at 11 a.m. and then a brand new show today at afternoons at 3 and a brand new show at evenings. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay here with Allied for more.